Okay, we're up in the clouds this morning, and I'm using a very interesting weapon. It's an inline 50 caliber muzzle loader firing a Sabo bullet. It belongs to Craig Sims, but it was made by Craig Clintworth in Johannesburg. Quite an interesting weapon, and the only other black powder rifle that I use on a regular basis is a, a flintlock in Pennsylvania. So this will be a new experience. Yes, good to go. Well, that was my first Impala with a muzzle loader. A 50 caliber inline, made by Craig Clintworth as noted, and a really super weapon. Not so much recoil as you might expect for a 50 caliber. It's firing a 458 300 grain bullet, quite light for a 458 grain um, in a Sabo. Um, we'll move in now and have a look and um, because I'm not so familiar with the black powder gun, this particular one, I'll move in with um, my 300 ticker. Um, but the job's done and I think pretty well done. But we'll see in a moment. My standard operating procedure, no matter what the beast, is always to move in with a loaded weapon that's ready to go because you never know what will happen, even with an Impala. I had a red deer in um, Scotland fairly recently, got up, it, absolutely certain it was dead, but it wasn't. And happily, I got within about 10 or 15 yards of it and it got up and ran but in the, away from me. But these creatures are wild and, you know, wild creatures deserve respect. So whatever you think, always use a standard operating procedure and be sensible. Okay, so there we are, just what we wanted. Weapon is made safe. This chap's about three years old. What is interesting is he's carrying a very heavy burden of ticks around his neck and ears, which is quite unusual for an Impala. Um, it's possible there might be something wrong with him. We'll see when he's butchered and um, we'll know more about that then. But meantime, a good representative Impala and just the sort of Impala that one should be shooting. You know, this is just the sort of thing that you want to, to cull to get the herd management right.